The scalpel is commonly the first instrument to be used in most surgeries. Therefore, having a sound knowledge of the various types, when to use them, and also how to handle the instrument, is essential for any aspiring surgeon. There are numerous types of scalpel, and their different sizes and shapes dictate when we use them and for what purpose. For example, large incisions such as those being made during a laparotomy are made using a large scalpel, for example a 22 blade. However, when performing more intricate incisions, such as when performing an excision of a skin lesion, we're going to use a finer blade, for example a 10 blade. When undertaking laparoscopic surgery, we need to make small incisions via which we insert the laparoscopic ports. We make these by performing stab incisions using either an 11 blade or a 15 blade. We can hold the scalpel in one of two ways, depending on the length and the intricacy of the incision and the dissection that we're performing. We use the overhand grip, typically when we're making large incisions such as that during a laparotomy. We can also use this grip when incising tough tissue, for example fascia. The index finger is positioned along the spine of the handle and the blade, and this allows us to stabilize the scalpel whilst applying downward pressure when making the incision. The pencil grip is used to hold the scalpel when we're performing more delicate dissections, for example, during an excision of a superficial skin lesion. The weight of the hand can be supported by the medial fingers and the wrist, which can rest upon the surface and allow stabilization of the hand during more intricate dissection. The scalpel blade is placed upon the handle by holding the blade in an artery forcep and gently sliding upon the handle. When removing the scalpel blade, this should be performed again using an artery clip in a delicate manner, ideally with the point of the scalpel pointed towards a safety tray. When passing the scalpel, it should always be placed in a safety tray or a kidney dish to prevent any accidental injuries. If you enjoyed watching this video, then make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great free content. Or, if you want to make sure you know what you need to know for med school, then subscribe to surgicalteaching.com for more great videos, learning forums, and MCQs.